Hey Maker, in this video, I'm going to address the most frequently asked question I get from Etsy sellers. Should my thumbnail listing photo be a product photo on a white background or a lifestyle image showing the product in use? If this is your first time joining me, my name is Christina Nicole, and I am a product photography coach teaching makers like you how to take your own high quality product photos that actually attract more customers and make more sales for your product based business. As a maker selling on Etsy, you take pride in being a small business owner with the added connected value of handmade. You want to set yourself apart from the big stores that mass produce their products. So it makes sense that you want to buck the industry standard when it comes to using product photos on a boring, sterile white background. Where's the fun in that? But if big players like Google and Amazon recommend or require product photos on a pure white background for SEO purposes, shouldn't we as online sellers be paying attention to that? While it may not be what you want to hear, trends are trends for a reason. And if Etsy wants to remain competitive in the market, my prediction is eventually they will follow suit and you should too. Currently, as I am recording this video, Etsy doesn't have any specific requirements for that first thumbnail image. They just recommend your products be on a plain background with plenty of light because when shoppers browse thumbnail images, they are drawn to clear, bright photos that show off the product. So what is the best type of photo to use? This is what you need to understand. When it comes to listing and selling your handmade products online, you actually have two customers to consider. It becomes a battle human versus machine, machine being artificial intelligence. And what we as humans respond to is not what the machine has been taught to respond to. Here is what we know. Humans are emotional creatures and more likely to respond to images that evoke emotion like styled and lifestyle images. It's just in our nature to want to engage with something that makes us feel a certain way. But the machine, on the other hand, the machine is smart and getting smarter every day. So when a shopper searches for a blue coffee mug on Etsy, through machine learning, artificial intelligence uses image recognition to scan images and prioritizes the best match to the keyword searched. This process is most accurate and made easier when your first thumbnail image is just your product on a pure white background. Why pure white and not a light background or a different color background like black? Because on a very basic level, pure white is free from color and is easily removed from the image, leaving just your product. So when you have additional color in your images or additional props, it can confuse the machine and then the machine doesn't always get it right. But you may be thinking, is this even relevant to me? Because Etsy doesn't require pure white like Amazon does. So aren't they different? Yes, Etsy is different. But I think a lot of makers assume Etsy is trying to be different when the reality is Etsy's technology is always a few steps behind big players such as Google and Amazon. Etsy is in the business of making money and continuing to focus on advancements in technology will allow for them to create a better overall shopping experience. And that's the goal. Even though Etsy isn't up to speed with the trending tech, product photos on a pure white background still have a lot of benefits you should consider. When done correctly, product photos on a pure white background allow the product to stand out, especially when your product has color. The contrast between the white background and the product really makes the product pop. Contrast is attention grabbing, and that's the goal, to grab the shopper's attention in search. White is considered neat, clean, and can be perceived as high-end. It offers a sense of calm and speaking in terms of design, it gives the image a more refined look. Product photos on white set a realistic expectation of what the buyer will receive, potentially resulting in fewer returns and negative reviews. And when products are shot on white, they're actually the most accurate in terms of product color. Pending additional variables like light and its color temperature are properly used. Product photos on white are more compliant with Google SEO. 
So if you don't have your own website and you want Google to drive traffic to your Etsy shop, or if you use offsite ads, product photos on a pure white background are more likely to rank in Google for the term searched. While styled images with relevant props or lifestyle images using a model to show the product in use can be attention grabbing and very connective, they can also be confusing and overwhelming if not properly executed. While I lean a little more towards using a product photo on white for your first thumbnail image for all of the reasons I just stated, my recommendation to you at this time is to experiment with different photos and see what people respond to. When it comes to Etsy specifically, the type of photo you use isn't so much what matters. Whether you're using a product photo on white, a styled, or a lifestyle image, the most important thing to keep in mind is you want it to be clear in your photo what you are selling, especially for those shopping on their smartphones. Let your product take up most of the image frame, and if you use additional props, make it clear that they are not the focus. You can do this by just allowing the props to peek into the photo or by blurring the background. If you want to use product photos on white but struggle to get the results you're looking for, I've linked a few videos in the description below that will help you get better results. Let me know in the comments, what type of products are you selling and what type of photos do you find shoppers are more likely to engage with? Please take the time to like this video if you found it useful and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to learn more about taking your own product photos that sell. See you next time.